What is up guys, Bryza here, and welcome to the fifth episode of the Burnley Pest 2020 Master League. It's been a ride, it's definitely been a ride. Today is D-Day, we go against the two tough teams, and then Aston Villa, Liverpool at Turf Moor, followed by Arsenal at the Emirates, followed by Aston Villa at home. And after last episode's performance, I've come to the conclusion that my fullbacks are not good enough. So... I've gone ahead and uh, added some players to the list. If you guys were following me in the last episode, Brandon Williams, uh, you know, 77 overall, 19 years old. Release cost is like 6 million. And Mikolenko uh, from uh, Dynamo Kiev, 77 overall, 20 years old. Release cost also like 6 million. Very, very similar players. Uh, Brandon Williams still has more, uh, I guess, physicality and speed. Whereas uh, Mikolenko is more technical, just a little bit though. Um, I've also came to the conclusion that I need a right back, and I've been thinking that Milanaus will not be a bad shout. All right, Milanaus, 77 overall, 22 years old. The the thing I doubt would have made him a right back. I know he starts the game out as a, uh, as an attack uh, as a right midfielder, but you know he can play defensive midfield, central midfield. He's a good passer on the ball. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. A right back that helps build from the back. And I think he fits the bill. I'm going to add him to the list right now. Because I know Arsenal is not playing him. In fact, I think it might be even be third choice. Because I know they have Cedric. And Bellerin is the starter. So he might not be looking at the pitch right now. I mean, announce is good. Somebody in the comments also said uh, I should go for Mario Balotelli. I, I don't know why. But... Uh, I'll tell you, 82 overall, 29 years old. You know, Chris Wood has been doing pretty good for me. But, you know, as even you guys saw in the last episode, he's very inconsistent. And uh, I'll tell you, you know, he knows that he's very physical. And he's, on his day, he's almost untouchable. So we're going to see how much he's worth. Release clause is 11.4 million. I don't know if I want to spend that on a 30-year-old. Let's see if we can throw somebody in the deal. Let's see what happens if you throw Ashley Barnes there. I doubt they're going to say yes, but you know, sometimes it's past, you know, sometimes they, they'll be like, you know what, this is actually a good deal. So, uh, his wages though, it's a little bit too high for my liking. Mm -mm. I doubt he's going to say yes, but let's see, let's see. Um, I'll tell he's a good player. I add those players to my list. And yeah, yeah I'm going to flip up next. A tough match for Burnley. Romadi remained impassive while answering questions about the match against favorites Liverpool. We'll give our all in every match. No matter what, who we're up against, Liverpool is no different. And Gimmelson got a link to Southampton. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Liverpool at Turf Moor. That's going to be a very, very tough game. And we could, the fact that we could barely be born with, I don't know. They're playing the best team also, but they're starting Adrian in goal. And Nathaniel Klein. Oh, that might fall for our favor. So, I'm going to take up with the lineup real quick to see how we can line up. Alright, so this is how we're going to line up. Um, we have Dwight McNeil. Is going, says she was showing great promise in the last uh, slide thingy. So, you know, he's on his breakthrough. Chris Wood starts with Gummonson, Jeff Hendrick, Westwood, and Robbie Brady starts the midfield instead of Jack Cork. Jack Cork is on poor. And Ben Gibson is back. Uh, Tarkovsky is on poor form, and I'm not going to risk him against Salah Mahmi and Firmino. There is just no way. And Nick Pope in the back of the net. So this is the team we're going to go for. Like I was saying before, I'm looking for a new right back and a new left back. Um, as you guys remember from the first episode, when I'm on possession, I need my right back to move forward with the ball. And Lawton just can't do that. And you know, Charlie Taylor is just not a good left back. So... I really need to upgrade in those positions. Anyways, Liverpool at home. Clap. Here we come. And we are here at Turf Moor, the home of Burnley Football Club. A victory here will be incredible. A victory against the likes of Liverpool. This team has not lost a game in Premier League since last year. They've only lost... They barely lost this season until like recently. But Dwight McNeil, like we said... Previously, he's on good form. Let's get a result today, guys. Let's let's shock the world. 
and say Romario is here to win the game. Here we go. Dwight McNeil looking for... Uh, they're playing uh, Nathaniel Klein at right back instead of Alexander Arnold. And they're starting Adrian. So we still have a chance. Oh my god. Good cross there. Firmino's header is over the bar. Wow, wow. What a start for them. <sighs> As I was saying that, Mana got a shot hit the post. But like I was previously saying, they're playing Nathaniel Klein at right back instead of playing Trent Alexander Arnold. So it'll be an easier, easier game for uh, the likes of uh, Dwight McNeil. Oh snap, Salah, that was an easy pass, oh my god, that was such an easy pass. He was literally just standing there, nobody marking him. He was like, give me the ball, I got it. Oh snap, man, I can't turn against every, anybody. Mane finds Firmino, Firmino against Taylor, this one no. I knew it. I can't stop that. <laughs> Firmino against Taylor? Taylor! <laughs> Midfield nowhere to be seen, and uh, it looks like it was Westwood that committed. And it's easy for the for Firmino, one nil for Liverpool. Firmino versus Ben Mee. It's been way too easy for Firmino. He's just slicing through the defenders. Ben Mee's there, but it falls right to Wijnaldum. Dom. Robbie Brady competing against the Dutch international. Salah, don't commit, don't commit, don't commit. I got Robbie Brady got it. There you go. Robbie Brady steals it. Here he comes. Do I make the make it around centrally? And uh, Chris will make it around on the left. Oh, they're being marked. Why? No, no, no. Why did you stop running? Oh, my God. Why did you just give up? The ball is in front of you. Oh. Fast close there from Jeff Hendrick. Good pass. Five to McNeil. Here he comes on the left-hand side. That's a red card. That's a corner. That should be a red card. Go cross. Well clear there from Mati. Yeah, this crossing is not going to work. Oh, you have to get rid of the... Hold on to it. You guys hold on. Half time. 1-0 for Liverpool. We still have a chance to come back, but uh, we need to start playing some better football. Oh! Run! Run, Chris Wood! You have to run! That man is a snail! Oh my god. Uh, where are you cleaning the ball to, Nick Pope? Yeah, please don't do that, ever. Man, Chris Wood, once again, dropping a stinker. My time's Ridge is on good form, though. Mm, I think that's everybody. I don't think that. Yeah, I think that's it. There you go. Here comes Burnley on the counter attack. Chris Wood, do something. He gets better than Dyke. Oh no 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 no! Oh man! What a Why not do There it goes. Steal the ball from him. Here comes Matthias Vidra. Matthias Vidra finds uh, Dwight McNeil. They brought out Arsene Arnold. He gets a good pass in. Vidra! Ha 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 ha! I can't believe it. Uh, other results, Bournemouth beat Man City, uh, Tottenham beat uh, Norwich, Watford beat Crystal Palace, Arsenal won, so that's great for us, Chelsea drew, Wolves got destroyed by Everton, Leicester drew, Man United. This result brings us down to 15th position, Chelsea top of the table, still undefeated, Liverpool go up to third, and uh, bottom of the table is still Sheffield United with one point. <sighs> man, 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 man. That game was, that game hurt a little bit because we didn't play too bad, but, you know, we're not playing great. And Chris Wood, I don't know what has been going on with them. Um, oh, best player award nominees announced to Real Madrid with now six players. Wow, six? Including Hazard and Sergio Ramos, that's good. Somebody wants to draw hearts about how he broke down. Oh, shoot, I knew that was going to break down. Uh, Kevin Long from Club Bruges. Aaron Lennon from Brescia. And Lake Zingdus from Preston. Wait, Aaron Lennon from Brescia? Joe Hart from West Ham? Nah, no, no thank you. Eric Peters. Mm. You know what? I think I'm gonna sell. Let's see if I can get more from them. 
I think I'm gonna sell him 5.1. What's his release clause actually? 5.2. Base release clause and he's yours. Aaron Lennon from Brescia. What can I get Baltelli up to steal? Oh no, nah, he's killing negotiations. So I'm gonna wait to the next one. I'm gonna wait for this. Who else? Somebody else got enough for K Long got enough for 29. Yeah, this guy can go. I haven't used this season and I don't plan on using him. Uh, Phil Barsley's already leaving. And like zig -dig 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 -dig. 33. Yeah, what? No, get by. <laughs> Alright, so that's had some budget for us. Alright, so uh, let's set up the lineup against Arsenal. I know I might potentially sell Eric Peters, but he's gonna I'm gonna see if I he can start. Um And I'm gonna start uh Robbie Brady at central midfield again. He played pretty good there. Yeah, I'll just start him there. See how he does. And this is the front three. They're playing their backup goalkeeper for some reason, again. I don't know why. But, yeah, sure. You know. Arsenal has a real strong, strong team out here. Aubameyang, Lacazette, and Pepe all starting. Ozil, Ceballos, Torreira, Sklesnich. It's a tough, strong team. But I'm sure we can get the results. Come on, Burnley. Let's go! The game gets underway. Arsenal versus Burnley. It's going to be a tough game again, just like the Liverpool one. It's tough, these streets. But Arsenal is definitely worse than Liverpool. So, I mean, we did get a point against Tottenham. Murray Brady running with the ball still. Dwight McNeil. Dwight McNeil! That's how you start the game! Shushing the Arsenal faithful! Burnley have taken the lead! Omari says, I know how to play against Arsenal. What a pass there. And Brian Neal got past the bars with ease and curled it by uh, Emmy Martinez. And it's Burnley 1, Arsenal 0. Unfortunate for me because, you know, I want Arsenal to do well, but I need Burnley to be playing better. I think, yeah, Little Life uh, Arsenal play against Burnley. I think we won 2, I mean, we as an Arsenal, we won, I think, 2-0 or 2-1 or something. Brian McNeil is already causing Arsenal problems. Danny Ceballos finds Pepe, who finds Ozil, who finds Alba. What a stop there from uh, Nick Pope. Who finds Robbie Brady. Look at Robbie Brady. He's still running on the football. Okay, he knocked the ball forward. Oh, man. Took the push, not somebody. Good start here from, from Burnley. The Clarets are showing Arsenal what they're made of. Jack Cork! What a save from Martinez. Arsenal are struggling. Jeff Hendrick. Good cross. So, oh, shoot! Oh no! Oh my God! I was like Pressy Square with the with my life on the line. That should have been two. Oh snap! I tell you what, man, Robbie Brady. This midfield, he's playing absolutely incredible. I'm still gonna look to get another midfielder, but you know, he's doing the job there. Finds the ball to Cedric, Eric Peters. Ooh, on the bottom of his header. Inches wide. Arsenal's been dominating with possession. But uh, you don't need possession to win games these days. All you need is one chance to park the bus. That's a lot of teams play today. Gets past Peters. The header, way with again. Dude can't score. Find the ball to Jeff Hendrick, who sees Goodmanson, and they, have, they got a free kick on the way. Jack Cork with a low driven shot! Oh. Good chance there, come on Burnley, we're playing some good football. Arsenal struggling to keep up with us. Robbie Brady, man, dude's playing absolutely incredible. Don McNeil does well to steal it from, uh, from uh, Cedric, he keeps it in play. Don McNeil. Cross the ball to Chris Wood! Oh, <laughs> man. Lacazette. What a stop there from Tukowski. Really missed him the last game against Liverpool. Corner for the Gunners. Takes a shot from Cedric. That was a good shot. And it's halftime. Arsenal nil. Burnley won. We love to see it. I mean, at least the pass. 
Arsenal struggling, but Burnley playing the football we want to see. I was very impressed with the first half performance of Robbie Brady and uh, Dwight McNeil. They've been absolutely incredible, especially Robbie Brady. I mean, even the game against Liverpool, I don't think Dwight McNeil played too good. He was like a, probably like a 5 or a 6. But Dwight, uh, Robbie Brady, I know the performance wasn't that good, but uh, he played very well. And, you know, er deservedly got himself a starting position in the team for the next game against Arsenal. And Jack Cork was definitely missed also. Here comes uh, Goodmanson. Trying to do the overlap run with Bobby Brady. It's forcing the error. Jeff Hendrick. Oh! Hit the post! Oh, I thought maybe I should have got two. Eric Peters just stopped running. Need to contain him. No! No! What happened? What was that? Oh my god, this is the way of the game trying to cheat me. Why? What was that? Oh my, what were you guys doing? Every time with this game, man, either a defensive mistake or is this game trying to screw me over. Let's pass uh, Sabahs with these, Hendrick. And Robbie Brady. Let's go, Robbie Brady! Gets himself a goal undeservedly, so he's been absolutely incredible today. And Burley take the take the lead once again, typical Arsenal fashion. Score a goal and can see one right after. Class match, what is he doing there? That's enough for me to get the goal. Come on, Burnley! What a pass from Torreira. Find Kalasinach. And it finds Aubameyang. And Lulton is struggling to keep up with him. Oh my god! <laughs> How did he score that? I guess that's what you get when you have a world class striker. Matthew Lulton losing his man so easily. Lost him so easily. Nick Pope unsighted. <sighs> right back to square one. Fight alone very well. Oh, wait! That was a through ball to find Vidra, but I wanted to just pass the ball to him. Vidra! Oh! No! How did I miss that? I can't believe it! Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't score that. Chris will just doesn't challenge Torreira. I know you can throw it like five feet three. Just you don't have to jump. Just have to go for the ball. That the ball's yours already. Pepe trying to do skills like a Zet. Oh, he's offside. Oh, thank goodness. Ooh, yeah, he was offside though. And they're bringing on Pepe, bringing off Pepe, sorry, bringing on, like, so Reese Nelson. Look at this Pepe, that guy has been killing my defense today. Chris Wood, come on. That's a foul. Let's go. Robbie Brady here? Yeah, I think he get it. I want a right footer player. Mm. Wait, hold on. I think I, I kind of want a right footer player. They're all trash, though. Robbie Brady! Come on, Robbie Brady! That's why you call the Burnley football! Come on, just gotta hold it for 10 past minutes. We got it, we got it. What a free kick. The Martinez is trash in this game, man. Trash! Doesn't even have a real face. But well, Robbie Brady again, his second of the game, and he's out for a hat trick. My guy! Clear it. Just clear everything you see. Come on, we gotta defend well. Please. No. Oh, Kalasinac. Clear that. Four minutes! Ah, oh, if that was me, that was losing. It would've been one minute. Force it back, force it back. Why? You, did you lose Lowton? No. No, Lowton, no. Lowton, no. Come on! Robbie Brady playing like prime Perlo in the midfield.
Prime Iniesta in the midfield. Arsenal way too open today. And we punish them through that. It's 3 2. We move. Okay, um, Jack Cork. 10 million. How old is he? 30. That's tempting. But I don't know. I kind of want to get them to the end of the season. And then maybe sell them in the summer when I have more time. Uh, Grimmison is definitely not leaving. How old is he? 29. Yeah, he's not leaving. Eric Peters decided to counter offer. No! What? Look, pay 5 million? Just pay the release clause and he's all yours, okay? Aaron Lennon from Brescia. So I decided to see if I could offer, if they could offer me Baltelli. And then, uh, can I pay? Oh no, I can't pay. They're probably gonna say no for this. But let's see, maybe, possibility, possibility. Anybody else? Westwood. Um. Thing is, I can only find four players in the winter. So, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna replace these people that fast. I think I'm just gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to politely decline. Oh, his contract expires in the summer, actually. Oh, snap. That means the smart thing to do will move him on. Unless I'll keep him on the team, I kind of. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below uh, what sh I should do with Westwood. Um, let's see if they can come out with a, a counter offer. They're probably going to say no to that, but it is what it is. Next game, I guess Aston Villa. Let's uh, switch the lineup around real quick. Yeah, this is the lineup, I guess. Uh, I could start Eric Peters. Because he. You know, he was struggling, but I could start him again. He's an excellent form. And it could help to end the Yeah, whatever. I'll, I'll start him. You know, Charlie Taylor has been trash all season. He didn't do too bad, so Eric Peters gets a nod. But me, James Tarkovsky plays well again in the game against Arsenal. Matthew Lone was like meh again. Robbie Brady, you know how I feel about him. Jack Cork, Jeff Hendrick, Chris Wood, Gilmanson, and Dwight McNeil. Yeah, that's, I'm pretty confident with this team, so yeah, Aston Villa, we just beat Arsenal, so get ready. This is the last day of D-Day at Sturf Moor, as we go against Aston Villa. We won against Arsenal, lost Liverpool, can we get a result against Aston Villa? This is the worst team out of the three, but uh, you never know what's Burnley. Um, we played well in the game against Arsenal, very well. The Liverpool game, you know, they, were, they were just all right better than us. Aston Villa, let's try to get a result. They're only a point behind, above us, oh, and only a position above us. Let's try to get this dub. And Chris Wood! What a save by Pepe Reina! And Matthew Ondo couldn't get it. Jack Cork wins it back, though. Oh, snap. And Santa Pelotero, he's the wrong goal. Against Eric Peters. Joe Hart's there to collect it. Oh, yeah, Nick Pope is on terrible, so Joe Hart has to start. No, Lawton, why did you stop? Nakamba, what a save by Joe Hart. And Jota Pelotero going against uh, Jack Cork. Oh, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. There you go, there you go. Wow, yeah, they're playing a back five, so it's going to be hard to break them down. They're not going to be as open as Arsenal always. Come on, Robbie Brady. Finds Matthew Lawton. Chris Wood. Oh, Chris Wood is so slow! Oh my god! That's right. Shoot. Corner. For Aston Villa. Oh my god. Are you serious? How can you beat Arsenal and then lose to Aston Villa? This is just not possible. We have to win this game. Once again, Jack, Eric Peters, Jack Cork. Wow. Wow. We're struggling, guys. Come on. Come on, Brady. Run! I needed you to run, Brady. Why are you just standing there? Man. Go! 
Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, 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 man. Ah, so close, so close. We got in there. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Run, come on, says run. Good cross. Oh my god! Falls down to you. Chris Wood. Come on. Oh my god! Just can't score! Oh my god, I'm just mad that Erlen is just standing there. No, 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 don't come in. See how slow you are. Shoot, man. You're so hard, so slow. And you know what decision making is? Actual trash. <laughs> come on, McNeil. Can you sh at least head the ball on targets? Oh my god! Nobody's running. My defensive midfielder is the highest person on the pitch. <laughs> I hate this game so much. I can't. I already made all three subs. I'm gonna have to play with ten men. Every time somebody starts playing good in this team, they always get injured. Nothing worked. Nothing worked. Nothing's working. This game is done. It doesn't even matter. So that's it. It is all over. <sighs> Arsenal bouncing back from the defeat. They destroyed Man City. Liverpool won. Bournemouth won. Norwich won. Man United won. Chelsea finally lost to Wolves. Chelsea still top of the table, but Wolves is 22, so is Liverpool. We fall down to 12, 10 points behind the league leaders. And, you know, four points above relegation. That's how it is this season. That's how it's been. <sighs> Man. Last nice episode against uh, Brighton, Wolves, and Leicester. Black McNeil has kind of a pivotal place in the squad, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care. Harry Brady is injured. Eric Peters. Yeah. That guy is. He can go. He can go. At least the scouts came back with something. Jack Cork. I'm not going to sell you. Uh. Ujinesi. Well. Nothing I can do about that. Have a good one. That guy was trash in that game because Aston Villa. Trash. And no to Aaron Lennon. Westwood. Oh, it's already left. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. This guy brought some people back. Um, Will Hughes. Nah. I just never turned one more. No, he wouldn't be bad. Fifteen million though. I am looking to see if I if I sign Jefferson Lerma, he's within the league. He's well, he's within the league. It's 15 million though. He's within the league though. He, so he falls under the guidelines. So I don't have to waste one of my uh, special ones. Um, his wages aren't too bad. I, I'll try to get this for cheaper too. Let's let's entertain this. About 11 million, 10% sell-on option, 27 million release clause, and his release clause like 20 million. And an appearance bonus, this, this, and this. I. Jeff Solomon was not bad. Let's see who they brought. Right backs. Guga. 74-21. Left the path, low pass 80. Welcome. Mmm. This guy wouldn't be a bad shout either. We're gonna add him to the list. This Google guy, you know, he's not bad. 74. He's gonna obviously gonna get better. Let's see. 
and they bring back a uh, Driusi. The thing with Driusi though is that I already have Dark Bikini, so I don't really need a, a left winger. I'm looking for more for center forward to compete with Chris Wood. Let's see. I'm gonna add him to the list. Center forward. I'll wait for the scout to bring more. But that Google guy is not bad. And I hope, I think Jefferson Lemon will be a good timing for us. Anyways, this is it for this episode, you guys. Uh, weird episode, so, you know. Three points out of a possible nine. Dyke performance against Aston Villa was so much worse than Liverpool. But the Arsenal win was pretty good, at least. Um, if you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button so you'll never miss an episode. And give me some recommendations, some signing recommendations, because I need some. Some of these players are just not good enough for the team. And, you know, I'm not good enough in this game. So, we need to work things out here. Anyways, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.